Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about breathing while exercising. Correct breathing is very important when you are exercising because wrong way of breathing can give you issues like you must have seen some people complaining of pain here which is called stitches while running. Uh, so this pain which happens here can be because of wrong breathing. The second, uh, while let's say strength training, a lot of people get headaches that also can be due to wrong breathing. So that is why correct way to breathe is important uh, while exercising to get the benefits of exercising properly, right? To get complete benefits. Now, uh, okay, so when it comes to breathing, there is a one simple way of remembering it. That is exhalation on exertion. Yes, if you want to remember it, you see, notice X and X. Exhalation on exertion. So that means when you are exerting, when you are putting in your efforts, that is when you need to exhale, it means you need to breathe out, right? Now, uh, when, so that, that is the important thing which you need to remember. When it comes to strength training, you have other ways also to remember. One is going against the gravity or going against the resistance. You need to exhale. Let's take an example of bicep curl. Bicep curl is a strengthening exercise. So let's say I'm holding a dumbbell in my right hand. I am lifting it up. Okay? And I'm breathing it down. Now notice, tell me, think, when am I exerting? When am I, when am I using my strength or effort in the exercise? When I am lifting up the dumbbell or when I am bringing it down. So, yes, right. As you can notice, uh, I am lifting up the dumbbell means I am putting in my efforts. I am exerting myself. So, that is the way. That is why. So, I will breathe out at this time. I am breathing when I bring the dumbbell down. So, exhale and I am exhaling. Uh, exert and I am exhaling. Right? So, exertion, exhalation. Shh. And inhale down. Shh. And inhale down. So exhale, lift it up, inhale, bring it down. If you notice, okay, right now I do not have a dumbbell. So but what am I doing? I'm going against the gravity. In this case, I'm going against the gravity. So I'm exhaling. I'm lifting my hand up, I'm exhaling. And inhale when I bring my hand up. The same thing goes in a squat. When you squat down, you inhale. When you exhale, uh, when you go up, you exhale because you're going against the gravity. See, going down is easier, but going up is difficult, right? So that is when you need to exhale. Now, this was the breathing of strength training. Now, breathing of strength, uh, stretching is slightly different, not different, I would say, but opposite of this. Now, see, like I said, you exhale when you exert. So in a strength training, you're lifting up the dumbbell, you are exhaling. But in a stretch, when is the ex exertion happening? When are you putting in your effort? You're putting in your effort when you to, to stretch deep, right? So your ex exertion is happening opposite to that thing of what I told you about gravity. That is opposite in, in stretching. So let's say I am stretching my sides like this, obliques. So I exhale and I bend because I'm concentrating on the uh, on the stretching part. I need I want this to exhale, uh, this to stretch. So I exhale. Why do we exhale when we stretch? Why uh, uh, when we are stretching? Or why do we exhale when we exert? The reason is simple. Uh, you need if you you put in efforts to breathe in. Breathing in takes an effort. And exhalation is easier, right? So when you're strength training, you need effort to lift up the weight, okay? So you exhale. In stretching, you are putting in your effort in stretching. Also in stretching, see when you exhale, your muscles will relax. So you're able to stretch better. Same in strength training, your muscles relax when you exhale and they are able to contract better, okay? So in stretching, now let's say the same bicep curl I did for the bicep. Now if I let's say I want to stretch this arm. I do this and I exhale. So I exhale like this. Though I hold it, but when you start, 
when you start, when you need to go deeper into a stretch, let's say if I'm doing a hamstring stretch, so I will, you, I will exhale more to go deeper. So effort, when there is an effort, you exhale. That is why a lot of people get confused with uh, breathing. People who do a lot of yoga, they get confused with the breathing of other exercises. But the only thing which you need to remember is even in yoga, there is strengthening exercises, there are strengthening exercises and there are stretching exercises. So when you're doing the strengthening exercises, the same rule applies. When you're, you're putting an effort, you exhale. When you're getting into a pose, right? So, so when you're holding, so that is where the effort comes and you breathe out so that you can relax and you can hold better. So, and in stretching of, let's say in yoga, again, you're, you're, you're trying to increase the range of motion by stretching. So you exhale. So do not get confused whether, oh, yoga breathing is different and the other exercise breathing is different. No, it is what type of exercise are you, uh, you are doing that decides how will you breathe. So wherever, just remember one thing, wherever there is the exertion, you breathe out, you exhale. Right, so this was uh, uh, about breathing, the correct way of breathing. I hope, uh, I, uh, I did try to explain it. I hope uh, I got my message uh, through. If you like this video, do press this like button so that I know, I come to know that you're liking my video. And uh, if you like my other videos also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel with the post notifications on so that you come to know every time I post a video. So I shall see here, I shall come back to you again with another video. Until then, take good care.